I completed day number 18 of this slalom today. I did it 10 times and it was very interesting observation today because when I started this exercise on day one, it was close to 34 seconds and I would always have to do it about four or five times on a new day to get to a closer to the 30 number. And today was the first day after doing it for 18 days. The first time I did it, I was already under 30 seconds. It was 29 something. The first time, and I didn't go over 30 seconds, not a single time. And while some, one, well, five days ago, doing, doing 29 seconds was almost impossible. Today, that was the norm, that was the worst. And 28 a few days ago was completely impossible. Completely impossible. Today, I did it about three to four times, 28 seconds something. And then definitely 27 something seconds was out of the question two days ago. Today, I was at 20, 27, 27 seconds something twice. So doing something over and over. And also notice that I'm doing it the same way, the same way. In other words, there's so many different ways that this could be done. This could be done with one foot, right? This could be done with rolling. This could be done with the other foot. There's so many different ways. But I wanted to do it one way and one way only over and over and over to get the feel of mastery. And I know it's kind of stupid to feel that in 30 days you can master something. Well, I'll, I'm gonna try to continue doing it even after this month, because this is the project for this month. But then later, I will just try to maintain it. Maybe do it two or three times a day, or, or, or three times a week, or something like that, to maintain this. But doing something over and over, and I got this from dancing, doing something over and over and over creates skills, makes, makes you better and faster, gets you to places that you never thought were possible month ago, 10 days ago, and then you get there and that becomes the new norm. But also, not only do you break records, sometimes you, you, you retrace and it happened throughout the days. One day I would have a time of 29, the next day it would be 30 something. Or if I had to take a day off, two days off, on the third day I have to start at 32. So you, you retrace. But overall, when you do something consistent, consistently, not only do you improve your time, your technique, but you improve the consistency. Because remember, this is day number 18, and the range, the range of times was 27.9 to 29.7. Like the, the range of two seconds, but that range, uh, that range was much higher when I started. That range was between almost 34 and 31. That was the range. And then as I was doing it, the range kept getting better and better and better. You will always have a range, but the range is tighter and the overall is better. Today, today, the worst time of 20, 29 something was not even achievable 15 days ago. And today, that was the worst time. So keep that in mind. Thanks for watching.